Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very interesting nettle infusion. Not seen in the shops before, but thought I would give it a go. And plus 10 generic approval points. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we were once again building this high security future sort of tech prison and managed to get a lot of the odds and ends done we've got the laundry put in which is going to be staff only to confirm um also things like the infirmary and i wouldn't say finished but definitely got the cell blocks up and running cell blocks a and b here as well as some flooring and it just it just looks a lot better with the flooring and it's a habit i'm trying to break just often what we do is have the <laughs> we'd have the flooring as the last piece of the puzzle so yeah at least if we try to put some stuff in then we'll we'll, we'll be all right anyway in this episode we want to put in things like the governmental security rating features so that would be two dog handlers and armed guards we need to build security and start putting in cctv speaking of that i should probably unlock oh no, i have actually unlocked that but we'll pick up remote access as well and yeah we're just gonna progress on with the building the idea hopefully is that we will have this ready to get prisoners by the end of the episode but the jury is out on that one over to the kennels then and to objects the dog crate will run up the top uh just gonna run the top section for now and then dog balls that should be fine in the armory it is a similar thing guard lockers will be placed along hmm I like the idea of having guard lockers across there and then turned around and then across there. So let's put in one, two, three. Don't need any more than that for now, so I'm not going to buy any more. The weapons rack will go on... Well, what else do we need in here? We need a table and we need things like... Oh, it's a shame, you know, because the weapons rack does look better when it's like on this wall. Tell you what, let's do that. Let's put the weapon rack there, and I can always bring the guard lockers down, can't I? So, uh, one, two, three, and yes, we didn't buy them again, which is good. And then a table can go on there, and we can place another weapon rack on the other side if we need to. And obviously, <laughs> perhaps obviously, anyway, we, uh, we probably should place some doors in here, shouldn't we? So we're going to go with a... A solitary door because it is the toughest door in the game apart from remote but the remote has to be operated by the security room and realistically if you're gonna come to the armory you're gonna go in the security room first and smash up that controller which means yeah the get the doors now open uh, <laughs> that's that's not ideal for us anyway the kennel is going to have a dual entrance actually not just a large jail door will suffice standard jail door there we've got a staff door there realistically that staff door we could change to a jail door and that would mean that it's a bit more secure but if staff want to go through this and out to the back then we need to keep it as staff so we'll just accept the slight negative when it comes to the uh, security of this one speaking of the negative security thing we do still have a fence around the outside and no other walls the idea is i'm going to put glass walls all the way around here and in these sections just so that this is then secure and we can start setting up deployment which we do have things like staff only which we can set so over there that is all fine or this will be staff only um this can be staff only that can be staff only and indeed that little bit i don't know why that is uh the way it is and then we're going to go with visitor only so visitor only is a uh, new thing so it says an area prioritized by visitors and civilians with only them and staff permitted so it does specifically state about uh staff as well so that's in and we now have a security room which is actually not built uh, kennel needs to be enclosed armory needs to be enclosed which it is now done so over to staffing over to our armed guards and we go for one two armed guards followed by two dog handlers and then we need to set the patrol routes for them so the dog handler patrol route is relatively simple well actually armed patrols we're gonna go with uh there's the there's going to be the two arm patrols. There's that now set. And, yep, that's now done. And then the the outside patrol, which we're going to have as magenta, will go... Now, I could just bring them up. I could, I could have them come along and then up like that. And go around each of these cell blocks. I think, for now, we're just going to have them go across. Although, if they get to this point, that might be... That might be a little bit of an issue, mightn't it? Because they've already sort of almost breached the entire barrier. 
So it's this one I'm worried about, but realistically, for this side, I can bring them up. Ah, no, if I do that, they're not going to follow that route up and down. So I'm just going to have to do that and just, just accept that that's how it is. Although I will expand it further because this is outside. This one I'm not worried. There's no way the prisoners are going to tunnel across and then down. They will go for the easiest path, which is just straight south like that. So we'll do that and we'll go to Blue Patrol. A Blue Patrol will be in here, which is going to patrol the... I'm going to call it the cafe, <laughs> the cafeteria. It's the canteen. But I think we are... In agreement, what we know, we know what we're on about here. Maybe. So, there's that set, and that is another grant completed. We have MaxSec infrastructure. Increase the size of the security force to, I believe, 20. Uh, and also unlock body armor and tasers and CCTV. Yeah, yeah. I guess we could go with that one. We could go with that one. We've got lots of green grants, but we're not going that. Tool cleanup, no. Crackdown on drugs, no. Prison manufacture. Uh, it's going to be max sec infrastructure, which a lot of it we've already got. Oh, no, none of it we've got. How curious. So we need tasers and body armor. I noticed that the guard tower, the, the, the guy there has got like a, a sci-fi duster on. I'm also going to pick up CCTV, imp CCTV improvement because, well, we might as well. So that's getting built. Let's, while they're doing that, go for maybe... We're going to go with the, the doors. So we're going to go over to doors and to a large jail door. And that's going to go in there and it's going to go in there and it's going to go in there. Followed by, well, naturally, the same up here. So let's just run those like that. And there will be one there and there. And these are going to be remote accessible. And then we have to spend a lot on glass. But that should mean that we have a secure facility. Oh, actually, it would be better to build it up and across because then they can't be flinging in contraband let's do that eight grand Ooh, good grief i think we're going to be taking loans out i could place a door there i'm probably not going to so let's go ahead and max spear this out we could sack people as well but again not really my liking Policy, there's our policy. We can see the different colours of the uh, the inmates there. If we go to intake, yes, we can get Max Sec and Super Max. 72 Super Max and Legendary. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. So... The original idea for this facility was obviously to lean in very much so to the new the new future tech stuff. Which somewhat ironically we've not actually done. <laughs> like we've got well no, we've got the glass walls and we've got the look of it with the, the, the floor panels, but we've not done any of the other stuff. We've not got advanced CCTV, we um cameras, things, we haven't got any of the tracking belts, we haven't got any of the uh doors and any of the uh the visitor the visitor stuff, which is uh, what was it called again? It's called the yeah, the the Video calling booth. We haven't got any of those actually built. Yeah, but saying that, we were going to go with Max Sec, but we can go with Super Max. Hmm. It's tempting. It's tempting. Right. Let me just go with this Max Sec infrastructure. Let's let's work on that. So. The, in, uh, the inmates, the workers are cracking on with the building, which is fine. If we check deployment now, we should be able... It, it looks terrible with all of these gaps. You think, how is that How is that sectioned off? It's because it doesn't show the... It doesn't show the, the doors. So we can not staff only that. Oh, I thought I clicked on it. 
So staff only all of those. Staff only that. This is fine. These are okay. Access only, not that it really matters on that one, but we'll do it anyway. This, we can say visitor only for now, and we can obviously change it as we progress on. How curious. That's now set. And... Yeah. Good. We don't have staff needs, so we don't have to build toilets. Actually, we... No, we don't. We do not have to build toilets. We just need a staff room, which is what we have. Alright, so we've got that set. We are... Unlocking tasers. We're building a CCTV monitor. Well, we have the option to build that. Let's, let's actually do all of that. So our security room over here, let's go to objects and to an office desk, which will go there, followed by a filing cabinet next to it, and then a chair, which goes there. So that's like a little entrance way. And then we need CCTV monitors. So the CCTV monitors are going to go on this right-hand wall so we can have a big row of them. And then there's actual CCTV cameras. Well, it's probably evident that there's one going to there's going to go one each of the uh, each of those places originally i said that this area was we could place bins there but cctv cameras would maybe work all right the disadvantage is that it might also not because it'll bump into potentially the either side the other side of this so i'm going to place them just to see what happens because we can wire it up and change it and do whatever can't we there's uh, no big drama there and there's the CCTV camera system in. I'm just going to connect that up to the grid, which is now a lot better because of the improvements in the capacitors. These are now all all right. And I believe there's been improvements in the auto connect. So can I just click? Uh, hang on. It's in utilities, wiring, and quick connect. So click. Ah, so we, place, we click on those. Fine. Oh, it's done them all, I think. Anyway, they're in, and uh, let's turn on the... Where is it? CCTV corn. You need CCTV improvement. Two hours left. So we need to get the corn, but I'm seeing that camera. Yeah, that camera's looking all to that way. That is actually perfectly fine. So, no problems there. Um, right. We need to get the rest of this done which means place more cctv cameras and get another 10 guards that is something i'm not looking forward to all right objects is it no utilities wiring cctv i'm just gonna place them there for now it is simply there to it's simply there to get the grant done by the way, we haven't got a scanner or anything. I'm aware. <laughs> it's just something we haven't done. And we just need to place the cameras. So if I remove them, that's the grant should stay. Yes. So we've still bought them. And then, well, we need to hire guards. And one, two, three, and we're out of money. Let's go ahead and increase the bank loan. And indeed, increase the staff until the point where we are really, really going to go bankrupt sooner rather than later. So that is now done. We have the Reform Through Education Initiative, Prison Manufacturing Facility, Reoffending Rate. It's going to have to be the Tracker Pilot Scheme. So it is a large technology company piloting a new prisoner well-being service. They are offering a grant to any prisoners willing to stress test the equipment and store other data gathered. We need to assign tracking belts to three prisoners via the intelligence and tracking menu. We're going to pick that pilot scheme up. We are going to... Mm, do you want to decrease the bank loan? I mean, ideally we would... I'm going to keep it for now. I just I think I need that money to, to finish off the facility. So let's place in one, two, three beds. And let's work on this tracking system. So we need medical boxes and a medical monitor. So the medical monitor, this is all in the utilities and wiring part of it. The health monitor, I'm going to place in there because it just looks cool. And then the boxes i think are in here um medical box yes they are so the medical boxes will go maybe just uh we'll just put 
one there for now. That's all we need for now. We need a connector tracking monitor from the security room. So that would be in utilities, wiring, and the tracking monitor. Again, we're going to place it maybe that low. Yeah, we'll place it there so we can see, we see the sort of um, the better side of it, shall we say. I mean, that's actually okay. Just I'm not too... Not too fond of the back bit. Anyway, we'll go for then, I believe, a router, because the router needs to be placed in order to in order to increase the range of the system. It just depends where's the best place for a router. Well obviously the cells make sense. Let's put them in the cells like that. And then we just need to assign tracking belts to three prisoners via the via the menu. That's now in. It says guard required to operate the monitor. Do we have policy? We do. We've got... Oh, equip stun buttons is actually already on. And prioritize monitoring is also on by default. Didn't think it was. Let me just connect up the... Connect up this. Oh, we also need to electrical cable that. And what else were we... Were, what else were we going to do? Long-term investment is going to be done shortly. I think quick build and cloning custom section 17 grand let's get it done and we can receive a decent amount of prisoners so let's wire up I went until this is built before I wire it up but let's go ahead and see what we need exactly for what we need exactly for the intake of prisoners. We need some more cooks, but we can get that when we receive prisoners. In terms of rooms, we've got the cells, we've got the showers, we've technically got the yard. We should improve efficiency by installing a doll control system. Brilliant. And... Just stopping mid-sentence there for beverage. Um... We have security, we have the infirmary, we have technically the common rooms, we have <laughs> not much money. Laundry's in, visitation we're not having, so we do need to build that, but that'll be in the form of the remote um, the remote things, which we can build in a butter moment anyway. And li uh, library, no, mailroom, shop, no. I think, apart from maybe some exercise equipment, and some door control systems and such. We're, we're, we're pretty much ready to to get prisoners, I think. I don't think it's unreasonable to to assume that that's a thing. So let's, as I said, work on maybe that. So over to here. And we're going to go with... A, oh, can we have a running track? We can, but what's the point? Because this is only a temporary yard anyway. So let's just have... Just standard weights, benches, just... One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Apparently the guards really like this yard as opposed to this yard. I don't know why. So that's in. We've got the patrol doggo down there. Let's see what the doggo's like. Exhausted. Yes, it's got a big hover pad. <laughs> and an LED LED eyes and a light bulb tail. <laughs> Curious, curious. All right, so that's going in. Uh, canteen, we may need to extend. Uh, no, we got four, uh, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, and we can only get thirty prisoners. That is fine. I think the amount of meals we can cook is also fine. Infirmary is up and running. Security is not yet connected. I'll sort that out once they've put the other stuff in. And let's just double check deployment. It is still set to what it should be. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Also, that should be set to that. And I definitely want to place road gates and things um, at some point. But obviously, at the moment, it is a money problem. Speaking of money, 18 hours until we get the long-term investment. We should make some extra money if we had a death row. No, stop saying... The game loves saying that. Can't get enough of it. Can't put it down. There we go. There's the electrical cable followed by some pipe work to bring in some water 
nice, fresh, clean, wholesome water and obviously flush away the uh, the grey water and other sewage and hopefully we don't get those pipes mixed up. Which is something I have done in certain games. <laughs> Oxygen not included springs to mind. So there's that in. Let's go ahead and the... Ah, the router's not in. So the router isn't actually cloned because it's not part of that bit there. It's on that side. We now know, which is totally fine. Let me just rotate that. These are actually semi-temporary routers. I think we'll end up moving them while we experiment. I have played around with the routing and with the connections and also the the tracking and such but the nuance is probably lost on me so quick connect let's just do that and that should be all of those connected up and also quick connect for the routers it actually goes to the health monitor interesting I thought it connected to that Hmm. Okay. Let's double check. Does it, tracking menu. Toggle range. There's the range. Ah, oh, so we've got the health. And the... I think that's the health. Is that health monitor in the sun else? Hmm, I'll have to try... I'll have to mess around with that one. What's a little bit concerning is that it doesn't reach this cell at the bottom. So I'm going to move those. So it's going to move inside to there. I'm going to move them to there. And while we're on, we're going to go with the video calling booths. Now again, I can't see exactly where we need to place them. So I'm going to position the camera so that it is... If we were to be placing something, so just say a bin, we want to start them there, which means mm, it's about that line there. And we're going to place two of them in each one. Do we need two? I'm going to I'm going to go for it. And I've moved this down a bit. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with the two. And one of the things actually that hmm, it's just occurred to me. And perhaps it should have occurred to me before. But we've sort of forgoed the visitation in favor of the video calling booths. But there's nothing to say you can't have a room that's just full of video calling booths. Instead of putting them in this common room. There's nothing saying we can't do that. And I actually like that idea. Having say this room what used to be a visitation. Have that just full of the video calling booths. Hmm. Perhaps that's the way forward. I'm not too sure. I do like that idea. I do very much like that idea. Let me know what you think on that one. Do you think that would be better than putting them in the common room? Do you think it would be better? Anyway, let's have a quick check. So we should have now in wiring the router. We can connect up to there. There's a grant, and is that connected? That is connected, and it's now been monitoring. So that's the tracking monitor, and there's the health monitor. Let me just double check what it says under health monitor. So required for the tracking menu, keeps track of your inmates' health and status if they are equipped with a tracking belt. And the tracking monitor is operated by a guard to monitor any prisoners wearing tracking belts connected to routers to extend the viewing range. So there's going to be some subtlety with connecting up this tracking monitor and the, and the health stuff. So I'll have to I'll have to work on that. That's something that I'll have a look at either between episodes or next episode when we get prisoners once we can actually see what the deal is. 
Okay, so the grant has been completed for, it was the long-term investment. There is now things like prisoner reoffending rate, uh, reform through education initiative. I think it would be best not to pick up any grants for the simple reason that we can... For a start, do you want to decrease that? No, because we go bankrupt. Uh, yes, we can get things like tool cleanup because you need at least well that's 40 prisoners crack down on drugs is 30 prisoners and we can get 30 prisoners all right let me just uh, double check the wiring once again wiring quick connect and there we go that is connected up uh not what is required okay um there we go going to have to remove that then why is a bit of a nightmare? <laughs> Have I wired up that one correctly? Let's remove that. And then all of these phone booths sort of cycles through. There we go. There's them wired up correctly, I think. And it's getting dark. Let's just go to our regime. And set up. Let's have a quick look. Work slash free time across the board. Until about there. So it will be free time, followed by two hours of eight, followed by work lockup, followed by one, two, three, four. Work lock up, one, two, three, four, eat. Then that's just lock up. That's going to be free time. There's our schedule. Tentative schedule, which may be changed in the next episode. Okay, we are going to leave it there for now. That has been Prison Architect. And I'm fairly happy with what we've accomplished here. We've got the deployment set up. We've got patrol set up. Albeit some of them temporary. Um, and we've got, I think, barring any major miscalculations most of what we need to get prisoners a couple of things of note firstly these video calling booths do you think we should keep them in the common room or should we shift them into a separate room that's going to be like the visitation room but it's now remote visitation room <laughs> would be the best way to call it secondly i need to experiment with the routing and connections that's something that we can have a look at in the next episode and finally although i probably know the answer uh in terms of the intake what do we want to go with it's either max sec or super max or legendary naturally we're probably going to get the legendary prisoner in anyway or no, probably not. Not for this, because I wanted a room specifically for legendary prisoners, and we don't have the space for that. But Max Second Super Max, we can pick up. I don't know why I'm asking. Most people are going to vote for Super Max, which is probably what we'll do, and it gives us most money. So, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. We have got, I think, guards with... Uh, yes, stun baton, stun baton, stun baton, stun baton. They've all got stun buttons. What a surprise. Uh, Taser rollout is also very desirable, which is what I'll pick up. And there we go. So, that's been a bit of Prison Architect. CTV, yeah, CCTV cone is on. As I said, next episode we will look at getting prisoners. What prisoners do you think we should get? Should we move the calling booth? And I'll have a play around with the routing. Either way, that is our facility. And let's see what happens with the next episode which may be the last if everything gets set on fire. Hope you have enjoyed it, and <laughs> as always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.